Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we have a new game. Uh, this game is called Heroes and Generals. Well, wait, before I start getting into the game, let me just say one thing. Up here where my mouse cursor truly is, you'll probably see a thing called bandycam.com. Do not pay any attention to that. I will be using traps right now and I will be using traps to record the gameplay. But unfortunately, because I'm in Firefox right now, uh, Shabs doesn't let me record, uh, like it did the last time. So I had to be using the bandy cam. Uh, so, sorry about that. Hopefully it won't annoy all of you too much, and hopefully the audio and video are both decent enough. But, anyways, back to the game. Heroes and Generals. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about this in my last two videos. Um, let's see. What can I talk about with this game? Well, let's go ahead and start at the basics. So this is a strategy game slash first person shooter. Um, so you have the heroes doing the actual fighting and the first person shooter and the generals moving around units. Hence the name. Um, let's see. Well, unlike your average first person shooter, you do not have uh, full. Excuse me, there. You do not have a full. No. Unlimited uh, spawns. You have a certain number of spawns um, that are dictated by your assault team which is basically what you spawn with. I will get in more into that in the actual gameplay. But for now, I just wanted to do this. Um, I have been playing this for about 12 days now. I started about a month ago. But, um, when I first started, I was playing as the Americans. Didn't know really anything uh... and this game is not very newbie friendly unfortunately so I quit and about 12 days ago as I said I had come across it again in something like a YouTube video or I just seen it on my desktop with the icon but I figured out to play it again so I've been playing it every day since then for several hours a day. I uh, have managed to get three characters. One is a paratrooper, other is a machine gunner, and the other is a tanker. So, this one combines, as I said, the strategy game, and then you also have the different characters, as I just showed, and those can spawn in to the slots that the generals have. Uh, you have many different characters, you have machine gunners, which I have right here, you have paratroopers, you have fighter pilots, you have tankers, you have snipers, you have riflemen, you have submachine gunners, etc. So it's very nice. And then after that, you start getting into the detailed part about the characters. You can put on pistols, you can put on anti-tank mines, you can put on anti-personal mines, you can put on grenades, etc. And then you can also go in and change around the different weapons, so you can change the barrel, the sights, the internal ammo, and trigger. And you can do that for all the different weapons, so it's... Basically, no weapon is going to be the same, really. So, that is pretty fun. And let's go and check out what I was talking about with the generals from this is what uh I don't know if you guys just saw that but apparently uh I am running running Windows 7 and apparently it just wanted to change it back to the standard usually I run the arrow or something like that um assault teams so these are what you spawn into. I currently have two infantry and, uh, well, two infantry. One is an infantry squad. 
and then the other one is a droid squad and then if you go to the campaign basically what you're doing is fighting over a map of Europe and you're trying to get to the capital Berlin for the Germans and London for uh, the Allies currently there are two factions in this game the Germans which is what I am playing and the Americans and then over here on the right side you have your list of missions that you can go and join and you can choose the character that you want to join with and here's one right here this is an assault team that's moving around so you get a limited number of spawns it's I don't know off the top of my head but 64 for a regular infantry squad 32 for guardsmen etc so you don't get all that much spawns to work with and if the you only have a with the guardsmen it's three character slots that you can spawn into infantry is six uh, and etc so you have limited uh, places where you can spawn into so you have t as you can see there's a ton of full matches right here so but so that is the campaign map and I now I am going to stop recording and I will be back with some gameplay so be right back alright we are in a match after a long countdown uh, it can the countdown can be up to oh, 120 seconds so it's a long very long countdown but now we are in the game and now we can choose which is silk squad we want to go with so you have infantry light tanks mechanized infantry and heavy tanks right there and medium tanks so let's go ahead and get in with an infantry squad and here's your list of spawn points right now I want to go with mission objective chain station let's go ahead and roll out this is beta they just went into open beta I want to say one week ago today so and for being open beta it is very unpolished um, as you can tell by the visuals so that is just something to keep in mind if you want to try out this game you're just going into third person right there you can do that with the end button if you did not if you play this game and do not know that just swimming across get my machine gun out again And let's just go ahead and move. Have your map with M. You are the flashing green icon. Um, and I can't be a precursor. Oh, and there's a guy. Got him. Oh, and accidentally press the chat button. Oh, lots of guys. Interesting. They got tanks too. That's not good. Uh, and I'm basically stuck here. Because I got tanks on either side of me. Kill another guy. Quick create a fire for the machine guns. Almost overpowered. Because you do. Uh, that tank must be over. Um, you are able to keep on moving, you don't have to have a bipod. Although I do know that they are planning to add that into the game at some point. However, it is not coming yet. So just keep that in mind. That tank so sometimes overpowered. And yes, that was a bicycle you just saw. And yes, it is fully functional. A fully functional bicycle that you can use. Oh. Guess what? They are uh, capturing the mis mission objective. 
Oh, I killed him. Well, how about that? Four kills now. And that's a grand firing. Once you play this game, at least for a little bit, you start to get used to the gun sounds. Why not? Let's go use a bicycle and get back to the mission objective. We are defending. Oh! Tank firing at me. Where is he? There he is. So we just have to keep that hill between us. As I was saying, we are defending. If you see that little thing up at the top, um, it says Assault GM 2659. The 2659 means how much time is left. You are stuck with 30 minutes. Uh, at least in the Assault games. And if you also look, there's a little... I'm distracted right now. There's a little... Oh, look, a healing kit. Perfect. Uh, a little square icon up at the top. And that just... Um, hmm. Oh, they captured the other objective. Okay. I was wondering how they did that. The little square icon. Um... Or a shield, I mean, shield. Not square, was I thinking. Um, but that basically means that you are defending. If you are attacking, you will see some... Where are they going now? They're going up north, okay. Uh, if you are attacking, you will see some swords up there. Some crossing swords. Or s somewhat. Don't really know how to explain it. Let's go ahead and run over here. Just keep an eye on that map. We don't have a whole ton of guys over in the east. So that, that might be where we want to go next. Spawn over at X2 once we die in this one. We're doing pretty good. Poor kills. And let's just go for it. Another kill. Whoa! What is that? Must have been a mine. Yep. There's another one. Wasn't paying attention. And the healing kits do... Um... Where is he? Okay. Do get your... Uh, ammo backup as well. So if you're running... If you're running low on ammo, you can always just go over there. And refill. And let's just keep on rolling because they are in the east. Boo! He's over there. Okay. Well, now we can go and spawn. Let's see. There we are. That little truck icon shows where you are spawning at. So let's go ahead and just move this way. Need your bike. And if you left click, here's what the bike will do. Yes, there's a bell. Yep, a bell. Bikes have bells in this game. Oh. And they also perform more like they belong in the X games than a war game. <laughs> so, bikes are not realistic at all in this game. Whoa! Whoa. You see? I would have been off of that if that was real life, but fortunately, I believe that my seat has super glue. Even though they probably didn't have super glue in the 1940s. And most likely, the Germans did not have it. So let's just get the guy right there. We can't. We have to get over here. Oh, 
help out X tube, which is right here. Careful of mines. Alright, so it's not in this house. I think it's this house. There we go. We tried him. And all you, that you have to do is just stand by this radio type deal. And that little bar down at the bottom will come up. Say how many are... Oh, come on, that's just me. Oh, come on. It will show how many, um, people are capturing, including the enemy, if there are any enemies capturing. So that's pretty nice. Let's just move over this way. Alright, where are they capturing now? I saw him out of the corner of my eye, but I wasn't quick enough to get him. Oh well. And another thing that is different than your average first person shooter is that it gets locked sometimes. A bit odd. Just move over this way, zoom in. Nope. No one over there. It's a grand firing somewhere. There's someone. Killed him. Uh, I love this gun. It is a machine gravier 42. Such a fun gun. But yes, it is overpowered. Which makes it so fun. <laughs> But really, I mean, the Germans get the Kro 98K. Or the, um, well basically when you start off with the Germans, you get the Kro 98K. Great gun for sniping, not so hot for doing close quarter combat. And unfortunately, close quarter combat is what usually happens in this game. So, the Germans are at a severe disadvantage when they first join because you don't get a pistol when you first join um, which is what most people use and um, yeah the Kron 98 is a single shot rifle or well, bolt to action I should say not single shot so that is not fun doing close quarter combat with. So that's one of the downsides of the Germans, whereas the Americans get the M1 Grand, which is pretty good at doing the close quarter thing. But this thing is really the only weapon that the Germans get that can be both long range and um, close quarters, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, the... Well, just because of the imbalance between the two weapons. But the does have said that they want to go with a more asymmetrical type of balance. Um, so... Wait, there's someone up here who just shot that guy down there. Let's go and see. There he is. He got us first. Oh, well. Let's spawn back at the... House main road. Yep, that's your one. Uh, the devs have said though that they will be adding the Gewehr 43. Uh, for those who do not know what that is, it's basically sim very similar to the Grand. Uh, with its semi auto fire. Let's see. Where is that guy? There he is. Ouch. Uh. Oh well. How am I doing? One and four. That's pretty good actually. But yeah, it is 
Right now, when you... F oh, come on. Let's hope I don't hit that mine. Too late. There's a German anti-personnel mine. Um... But yeah, right now it's kind of imbalanced for the new players. Seems that the German players have to know what they're doing um, a lot more than the new American players. And it's unfortunate because the game guide that this game has is not good at all. In fact, it's downright horrible. So, that's a problem. And most of the new players do not bother, there's a Hellcat right there, do not bother to go What was I saying? Do not bother to go um, and look up the game on YouTube or go to the game forums or whatever. So that's an unfortunate part of this game. Let's see. I hear hear that engine of the Hellcat. There he is. Let's go get him. Nope. Maybe not. I have a magnetic mine that I can place on him. That thing is usually a single shot. Um. Crouch. That thing is usually a single shot when it comes to taking out tanks. Always nice. Let's just stay right here. And just run up here. Okay. Is that one of our players? Yeah, okay. There's a German. That's good. There you go, killed him. Reload. Watch here. Yeah, my health is starting to die down, unfortunately. About 60%. This so will never be fun. Alright. Thompson M1A1 is down there. We want to be careful. For those who do not know, the Tommy gun is in this game. Uh, quick firing, basically. Uh, not very accurate. At least from what I've seen. Um. But, is in this game, and it's one of the more dangerous weapons. Uh, with the submachine guns, you actually get them at, uh, level 6. So I could, in theory, get it. Um, right now I'm happy with my machine gun here, so. No real use in wasting <laughs> uh, I thought he was there no real use in wasting um, uh, 77,000 credits on it of course this guy cost me uh, well, a pretty penny 68,000 I believe and he got about 5 no Three to four thousand in a game, so just to give a oh, uh, he got me. Well, he was firing. That's a interesting weapon. Seemed almost like Jay Browning. Oh well. Is there a bike nearby? I can get there quickly. Yes, Is there a boot. Let's go ahead and move up there and see if we can flank around him. There's an explosion. Wonder who's firing at who. The map is kind of like World of Tanks, but at the same time it isn't. Uh, in World of Tanks, you have the... Um, top part of your tank. Uh, as long as that's viewing the other tank, you, s you spotted him. Uh, in this game, 
all these soldiers are spotted right off the bat. Um, but you have to be looking directly at them in order for them to be uh, show up on the map. So that's a little bit different. And so the map is more useful for seeing where your allies are in the capture points than seeing where the enemy is, unfortunately. Let's see, where am I at? Okay, so if I were to go down here, it's so right down about there is it houses for the capture point. Let's go ahead and sprint down there. The wire is way off. It's over here. There it is. Alright. Headshot. And who do we have to worry about now? I saw a guy take off on a bike from that house. But I don't know where he got to. Let's go ahead and move on down. No, you know what? We have to go after X1 and stop them. In this game, you have supply lines. Oh, is there a guy behind me? I thought I saw a red dot. Nope. Uh, in this game, you have supply lines, and you basically have to go via the supply lines. So, you have to jump from X, if you're American, you would jump from B1, B2, B3, O2, X2, X1, and then O1. I thought he was down. That's why I stopped firing. Oh well. Um, so, just a little thing that's different. Let's go ahead and spawn down here and help this guy out. Where are we going? Okay. So, we need to move this way. Let's draw a bike. Oh. He's in there somewhere. Okay. He's down. And let's go and help capture D1. We can do that on the bike. So let's do so. Who all is down there? Seems like most of our team is at the X1 area. But I want to get rid of the D1 spawning point as quickly as possible. See this guy needs to ride. Who's that? Sherman. Okay. I can't do anything against the Sherman from this range. You know what? Let's hope he doesn't see me. Nope. His gunner did. There we go. Mine is on. There we go. Killed him. With a magnetic mine. Let's try and go after this Shroomin over here. You know what? I think we might be able to capture it. Yes. And my cat just got in the way. Come on. <laughs> We're going to kill a Shuman. With a Shuman. <laughs> oh, that's... That's payback. Kill it. Oh. I don't get American sights at all. Alright, so the X seems to be it. Oh man, this is humorous. We're just killing everything with the Shuman. So let's 
go ahead and move up this way and stop the D2 capture. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, I don't know what I'm saying. You will be able to see the capture points up, but unfortunately, somebody, I won't say who, um, has it where, uh, they have it set to a defense point at D3, which is, which makes all the other capture points go away, so. Oh, uh, oh well. Fun to entertain with one of their own tanks. <laughs> Alright, now we need to go and help out over there again. Over in the east. Let's put you between the west. Seems like we are falling over there, so. <laughs> we need to go and help again. Unfortunately, with the introduction of open beta, there's been a ton of new players that come here, come to this game. It isn't usually like this, but... Yeah, new, new players are flooding this, and uh, quite honestly, they are horrible at this game. They have no idea what they're doing, so... That's one of the more unfortunate parts of this game. Is that if you don't know what you're doing, you're horrible. If you do know what you're doing, you're great. So, get out of the way of that tiger. I mean, that's the way that it usually is. But it's just more so in this game. That guy just went flying. Did I see that? Okay, humorous. One of the other interesting things about this game is that the games last quite a long time. Oh yeah! Finally! Oh, now I'm a squad leader. Wonderful. But, that's what I mean with the, um, how, we now have our choice. Alright, let's go do this one. No. Nope. Let's spawn in here. Uh, about the points showing up. This is basically what they look like. So. Can zoop one. <laughs> oh. Wow. Didn't even see that guy. Who was he? I don't know. Bone main road. Once again. About the Germans is that you actually have to think when you play. Oh, hello. Is that you? No. Nope. Somebody else. German. Thought there was an American down here. Let's go ahead and move over here. But the Germans, you really have to think when you play. You can't just keep on going to the same position over and over again. I'm not saying the Americans are very much like that. But, they do require quite, the Germans I mean, do require, uh, more thinking, I, I, um, that's just my opinion, but, good sh shots coming from over here somewhere, anyone, oh, got him. him too. Nice. Right, where's he? Right there. Oh boy. So let's quickly go after him. Place a mine. One of the other differences between the Americans and the Germans is that... There we go, he's down. Uh, with the... Eh, we captured a Hellcat as well. Oh, wait, maybe we didn't. No, nope, don't think we did. Um, 
with the magnetic mines that the Germans get is basically a guaranteed one shot kill against Ormu. But the problem is that you basically have to be touching that piece of Ormu. Um, or else you will not be able to place it. Whereas with the Americans they get a sticky bomb which is severely overpowered in this game. Um, one second. Nope, didn't get him. Uh, severely overpowered in this game because it can be thrown like a regular grenade. It can be used against an as an anti-personnel and anti-armor and it can take down even a tiger in three shots. So... Quite honestly, it is overpowered right now. I believe they're planning on changing it up. Where is he? Oh, he's behind me. I believe they're uh, planning on changing it up to make it so that it is not overpowered anymore. But for now, it is severely overpowered and to the point of ruining uh, my fun. Well, to the point now that I do not play Axis Armor. Simply because the regu your regular run of the male infantryman is amazingly overpowered against Armor. You know, usually in, well, in the end the war, if you saw Armor, you put your head down. Because, well, you can't do anything against it. But here, your average infantryman gets magnetic mines. You get anti tank mines that you can put down in the road. Oh, and they're capturing the left objective. Uh, you get sticky bombs, you get bazookas, all for your regular infantrymen. And there are bazookas around every corner, so even if you don't have, even if you didn't purchase a bazooka or a rocket, Rocket, uh, Panzerfaust is the one that the Germans get right now. Um, so even if you didn't purchase those, uh, in the character place, uh, you can still get it in the game. So, all of that together just makes Umu severely limited, and infantry a huge force. Not saying that infantry shouldn't be a huge force, but you know, right now it's just too big of a force, if you ask me. And I think that it needs to be put in its place again. Same with the machine guns; they're overpowered as well. And I, I really can't wait for the day where we get the Gravier 43 and bipods for machine guns. This could be. Oh, uh, I would say much funnier. And that guy has a bicycle. Can I just... Uh. What's my ping doing? Oh, very low ping. Okay, good. That's very good, actually. Another kill. And just scan the horizon. Yeah, let's go go ahead and do a reload. But despite all of its limitations, I still really love this game. Uh, I'm interested to see what they will do with this game. Um, as it stands right now, it's more like a close beta game. Uh, which is to be expected considering it just came out of close beta. Oh, who killed me? Grand. But it's still a very fun game. Really enjoying it. And actually the only times that I've been playing World of Tanks lately is for recording. Just to give you a brief idea of how much I've been playing this game. So get on a bike. Funny too, there are bikes around every corner with us. With this game. So, you're never stuck, really. 
sometimes you get more bikes than other times but usually you have a very well lots of bikes lots and lots of bikes so and they're quick too I mean they're not slow bikes oh who's shooting me just maneuver get off see who's shooting me anyone no. at least I can't see him right now just move over this way here he is and it's quick gameplay too of course you guys are probably used to that if you play Sherman if you play the FPS games a lot you probably are used to that the quick gameplay but I actually don't play a whole bunch of FPS games this is this is the first one that I've really gone into usually I, I uh, don't like FPS games so you probably won't see a whole ton actually on this channel who's alright he's down good um I'm running out of things to talk about which is not a good thing there's a guy talk about him headshot they're good whoa look at that tiger just killed four in one shot nice must have been like a hack jack or something that he hit uh... let's see let's talk about patches up next uh... Oh. perhaps yeah well now we can since we're dead patches are named after famous generals uh... the current one is Guderian I am hoping that all of you know who, did, who uh, Guderian is if you do not, he is a famous German general. Uh, commanded the well, like drum out of the Panzer divisions in France in 1940. Uh, I just briefly know who he is, so do not ask me to write a full report on him. Who am I getting hit by? Him. Um. Next one is going to be Hansen. I believe he was a British general. I do not know literally anything about him. So, do not ask. But, hopefully, I know that they're doing a whole bunch of bug fixes in that one. But hopefully they will also add in some actual... Let's see, I need to be very careful. Hopefully they will add in some actual meat and bones, because that is what this game is lacking right now. So, hopefully, the Gravere 43 will be added very soon. I've heard rumors that it's coming in this patch, I've heard rumors that it's coming in the next patch, and ones later on, so. Don't really know what to believe right now. But they, they don't release what they're going to be doing until literally right before it, so... At least that's... Wait. Oh, there he is. Sorry for the quietness, just concentrating. Oh, let's go after this guy. Can't hurt. Alright. He seems to be gone from here, so let's go ahead and reload. <sighs> the interesting thing about this is that the objectives... I don't know if you noticed, but the time is still stuck on 26.59. That is because they have on the first objective 
So, if you capture an objective as a defender, no, attacker, then the time basically stops for you. Sprint, sprint. Oh, good, he killed him. Alright, good. Um, so I still stuck at 2659. The only thing that you can really do right now is just hope that eventually they will run out of lives before us. Otherwise, we lose. And it's interesting too because the battles that you face, that you deal with as a hero, that you generally do with a hero um, will affect the s um, let's see load your stage so this battle will probably uh, affect something else something on the map unless you uh, play auto generated which have nothing to do with the uh winning the war at all. So I I stay away from those. No, I'm just on drum low on ammo. Let's go to a health kit. Go and refill. Oh and you guys hear that? That is not a train. That is a flat viewing. Probably just pronounce that yawn. Usually I can get most names right in German. Uh, except for that name. I can't sp uh, pronounce that name at all. Uh, but they also have planes in this game. So that's what that is for. What you just hear right there. Uh, Two left. Let's go get it. Um, this way, dealing with the planes because obviously tanks and infantry will not be good against planes. But if you get into a a, a gun, then you can. I believe that the Americans get the M55 Quad. I believe that's what they get. It's not purchasable comes on the map, so headshot. Excuse me, I there had to adjust my uh, headset that I use. Who's in this one? Spawning again. Right, out we go. Sprint over this way. Count the boxes. And is a half track still there? Yes, indeed. Half tracks can be used to spawn in, actually. So, it's just a little something that's interesting. Interesting to see right here. Using a, I believe this is a 50 cal. That this guy gets. This is a M3A1, I believe. So the Germans, I don't know what the Germans get. Just some other half track. Let's go ahead and bail out. Plane of mine on there. I don't want anyone else spawning. Just to be on the safe side. Always prefer to be on the safe side than not. Another kill. There's another one.
Every gun has its own specific sound to Wow. Uh every gun has its own specific sound too, as I was saying. So you can if you know the sounds of the guns you can easily tell who's shooting at you and with what gun they're shooting with. Always fun. Uh, and they're capturing the objective. Well, let's get down there. Well, he's at 57 kills, only 7 deaths. Although I do believe he has been using tanks. He must be good at tanks. I am very good at the Panzers. This, uh, in terms of the Panzer series, the Panzer 1, why it is in this game, I don't know. Panzer 3, why it is in this game, I don't know. Tiger and the Stoog 3. Let's see. Where'd he go? Well, um, we need to quickly get up there. Uh, um, uh, 46 minutes, or 47 minutes. This is going to be a super long video, so my apologies there. Um, but as I was saying, the Panzer 1 and the Panzer 3 are both in this game. Why, I don't know. Um, I'm sure why they didn't put the Lukes in, I do not know. Uh, and the Panzer 1 is the us. A version, which is basically the worst tank ever, <laughs> ever used in World War II. So, why it is in this game, I really have zero idea. Um, for it been better, it was the Lukes and the Panzer III. The Panzer III in Normandy and uh, beyond was used more as a stealth tank because its 5 centimeter gun could not be used against Allied only at that time. Um, why exactly they did not put in the Panzer IV, again, I have zero idea. So, but, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Hopefully this will become a continuing series. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys get an idea of what it is. Um, yeah, so. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.